Hello, and welcome to the Walcott House Museum. Today we will take you on a virtual tour of the Walcott House Museum on number 17 Chaussee Road, Castries. Walcott House Museum is the childhood home of Derek Walcott, the 1992 Nobel Laureate for Literature, and his twin brother, acclaimed playwright, Roderick Walcott. The brothers were raised in the house with their older sister Pamela by their mother, Alex Walcott. Their father, Warwick Walcott, passed away in 1931, a year after the birth of the twins. The Walcott's childhood home is a replica of timber structures typical during the 1920s. Walcott House was originally a modest one-story timber townhouse located on Upper Chaussee Road in Castries. A small entrance portico leads into a porch enclosed by jalousies in keeping with the Creole-style external shaded veranda. The original house accommodated two bedrooms, one drawing room, one dining room, one sewing room, and a small back porch overlooking a courtyard with an external kitchen. A dogleg staircase from the original building, adorned with the turned wooden posts, flanks the south wall. The original house had a combination of the steeped pitch roof, typical of local vernacular, and a Dutch gable. In the current reconstruction, the Dutch roof was extended fully over the floor plan. It reflected the extraordinary features of wooden houses built in the 1920s and provided the perfect backdrop for the story of the Walcott brothers' childhood in the town of Castries. You might note the Mako balcony where members of the Arts Guild would meet and their creative ideas flourished. The yard where the Turks band made its carnival costumes. And this window where Sir Derek and Roderick Walcott dreamed. After it was sold, the house went through significant modifications to accommodate the first printery in St. Lucia, the lithographic press. Sir Derek describes the experience of visiting the home several years later. Our house with its bougainvillea trellises, the front porch gone, was a printry. In its noise, I was led up the cramped stair to its offices. I saw the small window near which we slept as boys, how close the roof was, the heat of the galvanize. A desk in my mother's room, not that bed, sunlit with its rose quilt, where we were forbidden to sit. The house boasts traditional details such as the fretwork and hurricane shutters. Its Dutch roof is flanked by six dormers. Its wooden staircase lined by original balustrades. Its open rafters, Dutch roof, rabbit and springboarding shutters, fretwork, and awning windows all contribute to its charm. The original house was made of bois laurier. The Walcott House took on the original color scheme that Sir Derek remembered as a child. Mama's sewing machine, a singer, peddled and stitched the house's human freight, and a great cannon tree there lit every scene down Chaussee Road. For those who have been, my eyes' windows brim as I unlock the gate. Now eight watercolor paintings by Sir Derek Walcott are exhibited on the ground floor with manuscripts and playbills from Roderick Walcott OBE. We will hear more about these in part two of the Walcott House Museum virtual tour. 
Thank you for watching part one of the Walcott House Museum virtual tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, consider sharing it with your friends. And if you would like to visit, please contact us on 452-3639. Become a member of the St. Lucia National Trust.